Whoa, hey guys, real quick before the video starts. You guys know Jacob, right? Remember Jacob's Ocarina? He was like in my old videos, remember? Like he has three videos on his channel from like four years ago and somehow he has like 2,000 subscribers. Yes, so I have an awesome deal for you guys. He will, no joke, 100%, he will post a video on that channel, all right? A legit good video, I know you guys will like, all right? We just gotta help him out. So, I am off in college right now, and he is also in his first year of college. So, at this college, they have a little dorm room competition. You know, whoever, you know, dresses it up the best gets to win. And all we have to do is get his Instagram picture the most likes, all right? So there's a link right down below. Just real quick, click it. All you have to do is like the video. And if we can get that video to 500 likes, which I know we can do, then he's going to drop that video. 100% I swear to God I've seen the clips for the video okay and another thing and this may be a long shot but if that post gets a thousand likes Jacob and I will actually start a series together him and me we're gonna start a series we have this, this plan that's been going on for a long time we're at we will actually start it all right so just hit the link down below and all you have to do is like that video all right so now back to the video What's up everyone, CND back again. Today I'm gonna be telling you guys how to have the ultimate, the best Smash Party you can. We all know that the best game for parties by far is Super Smash Bros, especially, whoa, oh, especially the new one, because you can do eight players on one screen at one time. It's absolutely insane. So I'm gonna show you guys how I set up and how I get ready to have the best Smash Party you can have. Let's go. All right, so step one is the setup. You wanna get everything hooked up and accessible. You wanna make sure that everything is tailored around the game. You wanna highlight it, make it accessible, and you want it to be the center piece for this party. So get your games, get all your controllers you can. The best, of course, are the GameCube controllers. If you don't have a second adapter like I do, Grab some pro controllers, grab some Wii remotes and nunchucks and you'll be set. Next, you're gonna wanna plug everything in. You wanna have your Wii U plugged directly into the TV, then you want the power, then you want all eight controllers accessible. So what I do is I put them all laid out on the table, right for everyone to just pick up and get ready to go. But another extremely important thing is to make sure all the chairs are lined up correctly. So you wanna have them in kind of a semi-circle around the TV. You want everyone as close as you can get. You want it so everyone has a good view of the TV. You got your controllers, you got it set up, you got the TV. Step two is the food and drink. You need the fuel that everyone needs to game all night, and you want the hydration so that everyone is set. Hit up your local shop, you're gonna wanna get a bunch of junk food. You got some sour gummy worms, which are always a hit. If you can only get one thing, just get a bag of these, everyone will love you. And then if you wanna feed people just a little bit more, grab yourself a bag of pizza rolls, pop those in the oven halfway through, and you'll really replenish the gaming fuel that you need. Also, never forget to pick up your hydration. We need some Mountain Dew, obviously. We need some type of like juice, maybe. We need some water, obviously, some chocolate milk. You want a good variety so that your guests are happy. You can tell I'm on a diet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, step three is the atmosphere. You wanna get the room as dark as you can. Everyone wants to see the screen. That, again, is the centerpiece, all right? Also, if you have any lights, throw those in there. Get the atmosphere bumping. Maybe throw a little background music, get a little portable speaker like me. Depending on how competitive you wanna get, maybe you wanna hear your game more. All right, step four is just refining everything, all right? You wanna get it as nice as you can. Make sure you got some paper towels out so people aren't getting your controllers all grubby. That's, that's a big one. Make sure everyone has a side table, some place they can put their drink, some place they can put their extra snacks and stuff. You wanna take all your drinks and you're gonna put them in a separate part, okay? Because you don't want people spilling all over stuff. So have the drinks probably in the kitchen, somewhere nearby, where they can easily just get up and grab a drink, all right? Then you want to take all your snacks and you want to put that right in the center of everything. You want everything accessible. You want everything just boom, boom, bang, just go. All right, so with that, enjoy the party. That is it. You got everything set up. You got your games, you got your seats, you got your people, you got everything you need to have a fun, awesome night with some Super Smash Bros.
Pokemon here. <laughs>